Now, today, the New York City Council created the first city-run trade-in program for e-bikes and aftermarket lithium-ion batteries. The plan allows the public to trade in their potentially dangerous batteries and bike in return for ones certified as safe by the FDNY. The aim to curb the number of deaths and damage caused by the popular devices. Eyewitness News reporter Darla Miles with more. We know that there are folks that can't afford high-priced batteries and bikes. A hefty load off the shoulders of the estimated 65,000 New York City delivery workers just days before a ban on the sale, lease or rental of an uncertified e-bike goes into effect. This is going to be huge help and support to all the delivery workers. Thursday afternoon, the City Council approving a two-year e-bike trade-in program. Owners can swap out uncertified bikes and batteries for those that are certified for free or at a low cost. Are these batteries safe? I think that's a great question. Um, I would say right now, if you have one of these in your home, you don't know. In July, FDNY Commissioner Laura Kavanaugh was in Washington testifying before the Consumer Product Safety Commission, pushing for mandatory safety standards for e-bikes and batteries. So far this year, uncertified bikes and batteries have led to 180 fires, 101 injuries, and 14 people have died, according to the FDNY. We have to make sure to bring this to make the city safe because we use the battery at home. We use it for two work. Delivery workers say they're scared too and want and need the help. So far, there is not easy to get like a certificating battery out there. So it's really hard. Now and there you can go to uh, internet and you can find anything. The e-bike trade-in program will be subsidized by the city and could cost between three and five million dollars. But it comes on the same week that Mayor Adams asked all city agencies to cut their budgets by five percent to deal with the rising cost of the migrant crisis. 